Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful Capricorn. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. This reading is going to be for Capricorn, new moon to full moon. I am majorly focusing on this new moon to full moon energy because I know there is this planetary transit and major shifts are taking place. So this 15 days is going to play a big role, big, big role on mankind and mother earth and i see capricorn that you have been in that energy of fogginess doubts dilemmas confusions not able to make decisions and not able to speak your heart out or truth out you're not trying uh, you were trying hard to be assertive to be bold be courageous i see that and you got card number 39 that is um uh, fifth chakra archangel gabriel that means you have been struggling to speak your truth out all right or you you have been getting judgment call you are supposed to be speaking your truth to somebody or somebody needs to speak their truth to you there is something about truth because i am saying this is also as a look at that i shuffled and this card again came i did the reading for scorpio just now as or sad i believe they got the same card but in reverse you are getting upright all right and underneath is the star card so if you are dealing with a sag or you have some kind of uh, sag placement sagittarius placement in your natal chart very strongly then take it as a confirmation this is card number 39 39 adds up to 12 all right and and 12 that adds up to 3 at the end all right so i see a progressive number of 1 2 3 all right and three for me is like a trinity all right so what i'm seeing is that whatever has been holding you back whatever you have been fearing i am feeling that if you speak uh, that something wrong will happen with you you are assuming and then you are not taking a stand not speaking your heart out or not standing with your truth you are procrastinating there is some kind of procrastination energy and that oh you are creating a tower for yourself by those assumptions and you know misleaded thought in some way shape or form your own um, assumptions your own way of thinking is creating the tower moment and uh, universe is trying to align your energy and bring this healing energy and the balance energy and that can be done only when uh, capricorn you get that much needed clarity and with the fifth chakra i feel like there will be people who will be coming will be sent by the universe on your path who will communicate to you like for example you coming to my channel and i am speaking i'm using my throat chakra right to speak this message out so that you find a healing and avoid yourself from this tower and foggy energies so i'm speaking and you are supposed to get this download all right so there will be people maybe with this person that you are dealing there will be some people who will be speaking to them and guiding them and helping them take a stand make a move all right speak out that's how i'm feeling and for example you if you have been stuck and god for you know divinely guided uh, you to watch this reading that means you are supposed to be hearing this message and you are supposed to be taking some actions right now because how long you want to stay here capricorn that's what universe is saying that when are you going to speak what uh, what you are waiting on what kind of a turn you are waiting on i am feeling like this is pertaining to probably the person that you are dealing with because this is a masculine energy underneath is the goddess energy so what i am feeling is that this person masculine has not seen your work has kept themselves recluse for a long time all right experiencing tower after tower but not doing anything as if like they got habituated or used to sitting there it's like this and universe is like giving them look they are holding a trumpet in their own hand they keep getting that telepathic downloads messages like check your karmas check your actions is there something that you need to pay attention to to heal there is something that you did not pay attention that you need to bring closer to is there something that you are need not seeing somebody's worth or you want to really call towers like i am feeling agitated all of a sudden all right i am not in that energy to be honest 
as if like this Mahisasur Mardani has woke up inside me. I'm feeling like this all of a sudden. Like, damn, why don't you speak, man, if you have to speak something? As if, like, no, I will die. You know, I will take these emotions to the bloody grave of mine, but I'm not going to bloody speak. Very stubborn energy. That's, that's why this tower, this person... If this is your energy, then you are experiencing tower. If this is the energy of your masculine, then they are experiencing tower because of their stubborn energy. This person probably has a false belief system of like my name, my prestige, my image, my this and my that. But if they did not see that underneath to whom they are dealing is a soulmate, is a soulful connection. Maybe you guys share a soul uh, a relationship of like twin flame, having a contract that you need to uh, fulfill together. Not seeing the, the the emotions that this queen are giving out to this masculine. All right, very tower some energy. Like when are you going to damn wake up, man? When? And Capricorn is a devil energy. I'm feeling like that. Even if the devil card is not there, I'm feeling that I'm a Maiza. So then I'm going to kill. You know, it's that kind of energy I'm feeling. That's crazy. If you are experiencing this, then I'm telling you, my dear beautiful soul family, whoever you are guided by the universe to watch this reading, this person is getting download from the universe. Not just from the universe. All right. Because whatever they are doing, you are also somewhere here, my dear. You are not able to completely break free from something that is uh, creating a lot of havoc or chaos inside you. All right. Is also creating a tower some energies for you in some way, shape or form. You, you are still uh, fighting and struggling and you are doing everything that you can do to find that healing. All right. But these other energies around you, I feel like they really lack compassion they lack understanding they lack moral principles and values of life as if like you are surrounded by all toxic energies around you and god is trying to lift you up from this energy i'm feeling like that you know as if like god wants to lift you up from this energy and so do the masculine because underneath the masculine there is this goddess and this beautiful queen of cup energy right this person is divinely guided by a mother that means moon energy through moon energy they are getting that intellectual uh, intelligence they are getting those intelligence inside them through the knowledge and wisdom that is pouring in through the moon cycle that check your karmas if you have to speak speak your heart out all right be truthful to yourself at least don't cheat yourself their third eye is absolutely activated but as if like this person is all the time strategizing about um, uh, my money my status my name my fame this person seems to me like a very critically analytical person maybe dealing with a capricorn or you have a capricorn in your natal chart very strongly this person values money name fame and if and but and what not and they are not seeing the reality of the truth that is around them i'm feeling sorry for this person to be honest so all i can say is that capricorn send this person healing energies all right where they feel healed all right find that balance when they find that balance from that roller coaster emotions of there when they find their stillness they will get that understanding to see your worth of who you are all right that's something that god wants them to see that i have given you this beautiful thing and beautiful gift as in this person all right as your love why are you not seeing why you are not paying attention here why paying attention to uh, you know and all the time strategizing about money name fame door to value this and that and third eye is activating them helping them to come into their intelligence and see their divine quality within them also all right Div uh, divinity within them and from that perspective see the emotions the truth of the matter of every relationship is that until and unless it is soulful, it is not worth having a deal, all right? If you don't feel soulfully anything, then don't go for it. But if you are feeling really soulful, 
you are dying every moment of your breath and still not taking action that means what you are doing you are calling out tower for yourself yes it is all right because you are caught up with your own assumptions what if not and but and i feel like this person is strategizing right we got the strategy card and we got the goddesses card and this is card number 44 so if you are seeing 44 and this is card number 17 that's the star and this is a partnership card all right healing partnership and this is what venus is also doing trying to heal uh partnerships that has fallen apart those who are supposed to come in reunion all right there is a master plan going on so this is what i am feeling capricorn that the time has finally come that you take a stand for yourself speak your heart out speak your truth out how you feel what you feel and what exactly you are looking up to if you are not getting that reciprocation or answer from them you know just walk away don't waste your time bagging in front of them oh please love me i will die without you if you are not getting any respect there don't don't get don't even if you get this person or the love of this person after begging then better you not have it because no relationship comes to our life by begging and promising you a permanent stay if something is coming only by begging that means this person is called into your life out of force right so don't apply force let nature take its course right let, na let, let nature uh, heal this connection. <clears throat> Give out time. All right. But you speak your truth, rest your case, work on yourself. And if this is where you are, then I'm telling you, the masculine, they are going through these lessons from the universe too. How long you want to procrastinate? How long not take any action? How long not move? Can you move? It's like this. All right. That's the call. So in the next 15 days to 20 days, this person will go through something that will force them. All right. That tower will force them to pick up their phone, unblock you, message you, call you, reach out to you at your doorstep, whatever it is. But this will, this consciousness awakening will be such that you will also experience some kind of tower where you will also feel like, you know what, enough is enough. I need to make a decision. It is towersome. I will still have to make a decision because I have to find my healing, my peace, my stability. I have to do this. You will also feel like that. And the same energy will radiate. They will also be like, damn, it's really been long. All right. I really don't know what is happening in her life. She may walk out. So I need to take a stand. That's what they will be also doing, all right? So it's an energetic pull in the 3D and you guys will come in union. That's how I'm feeling. You guys are, will together uh, reunite. That's how I'm feeling because energetically you are pulling your, yeah, each other. And this is what is taking place between this uh, 15 days, uh, like new moon to full moon, all right? And, uh, and uh, yeah, look at this. We got the star. I am telling you, I told you, this is the sun energy. And this card says that the golden energy of the sun brings name and fame. All right. If you have lost everything for this person, all right, or for this connection, everything is getting restored in your life. Name, fame will be restored. Or God has punished them, has taken their name, fame back. Then they, and God is going to restore their energy also after they have taken their right actions and has put in the right karma. All right. And you are finding that healing in your heart space they are also finding that healing in their heart space and this is what this realignment is going to take place in the next uh, 10 to 15 days all right this is your new moon to full moon energy so i hope this message has helped you in some way shape or form until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all Om Namah Shivaya.